Okay. I'm setting you up for stuff, you know that. Okay. So we want the notion of what's called a cut. A cut in a network flow. So it's the definition of a cut. A cut is nothing but a partition of the vertex set into two parts, say part left and part right. But it's always the case that the source is in one and the sink is in the other. A cut is just a partition of the vertex set into two non-empty parts with the source in the left one and the sink in the right one. And the words L and R here, left and right, they have no meaning. It's just two different sets. Don't, don't be thinking the left set's over here and the right set's over here. It, it, it's just a partition. It, it can be commingled in any way, but they, it's a partition. All right, now, in the network, there are edges back and forth between these, and there's tons of edges inside. There are some edges from L to R which are like this, and it's natural to think of them as forward edges. They can shear endpoints on either side. There are some edges which come back in general. So when we're talking about a cut, we, and we specify L and R, there are edges from L to R, they're called forward edges, edges coming this way from R back to L, are call, called backwards edges. The capacity, the capacity of the cut We're defining the word capacity of the cut, L, R, is the sum of the capacities of the forward, forward edges. Only those edges. Ignore the backwards edges. That's the notion of capacity. Now, why is that important? 